In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a free website that you can use for affiliate marketing online. This is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial where I show you step by step exactly how to create and set this up for yourself, which you can then use for any affiliate program or product such as Amazon, Clickbank or Max Bounty. I'm also going to be showing you a completely free way to collect email addresses from this site and allow you to email them affiliate offers anytime you want at no extra cost to yourself. Sounds good? Now if you're new to my channel, my name is Steve, and if you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons below. Any support is greatly appreciated. I am competing with some mega channels out there, guys, so I really do appreciate it. And if you have any questions regarding this tutorial at all, please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So first things first, let's take a look at what we're going to be building and it's going to be something very similar to this. So I've gone ahead and picked a random health and fitness affiliate offer from ClickBank. Again, we can use anything we want to, Amazon, Max Bounty, Warrior Plus, wherever you want to. And this is basically going to be our affiliate marketing site. And the person that comes on to here, they see the headline, okay, this is health and fitness. And if they want to unlock the video to find out what this secret is, how I'm gonna lose for 59 pounds of wobbly fat from my butt, face and hips, then they're gonna to have to leave their email address here and then it will send them to the affiliate offer where they can watch this video. There's two reasons why we do this specifically and why we do it this way. And it's really important for beginners to know this. Facebook, YouTube, Google, etc. however you decide to promote this offer, they do not like affiliate links. They don't like direct affiliate links. So you need to bridge that gap with your own website asset like this, okay? Because you can use your own domain for this or use one of your tools domains for this and then they will not pick it up as an affiliate link because you're not sending them directly to the offer. The second reason is we want to be collecting email addresses, okay? We want to be building up our email list in whichever niche you choose, and then we want to be emailing them after the fact to pick up extra commissions on the back end, and doing this allows us to do this. If we sent them straight to the affiliate offer, we would not be building up our email list, and we'd be leaving lots of money on the table, all right? So this is exactly why we do this. So let's take a look at the offer. So I just picked a random offer on ClickBank, Exapira. Um, lots of people are promoting this at the moment. It doesn't really matter which one you pick for this tutorial. And we can see here, this is the affiliate page and you get your affiliate link from here. So if you wanna go ahead and do that, come to the ClickBank page and get your affiliate link. This is basically the page or the offer page that you will be sending them to via your affiliate link. So it looks similar to the page that we have built. And you know, there's good reason for that. We want to be consistent, but here we are is the video playing. And if I click here, you'll hear the sound. And once this video sales letter is finished, then this kind of site will open up and it'll have the pricing, the offer, the testimonials and the buy buttons and things like that. So this is kind of how these affiliate offers, especially on ClickBank and MaxBoundD work. So you want to be sending them to our page first to collect the lead and then our links will be sent to here and this will be tagged with your affiliate links you collect commissions. So the tool that we're going to be using to build our website and our email list for free is an amazing tool called System.io. I recently discovered this and it's completely changed my online business. I've absolutely fallen in love with it. I've used tons of different tools in the past, things like ClickFunnels and GetResponse and this is really, really awesome for a number of different reasons. You can build your sales funnels in it, you can do your email marketing, you can host online courses, build websites, even create your own affiliate schemes, even do marketing automation, all right? And one of the main reasons, beside it being awesome and really beginner friendly, is the price. It, take a look at this, okay? It's so, so cost effective for what you get, just $27 a month. And there even is a free tier, which is what we're gonna be using today on this tutorial. There are some limitations on it, but it's more than enough for you to get started. And this, once you sign up for free, you get this for life. Now, I'm not sure how long this free plan is gonna be around for, so go ahead and get this right now just to make sure that you're grandfathered in so you're not kicking yourself when it goes but even the price plans 27 a month 47 a month you know you pay two four two four nine for click funnels and above 
and you get emails and this and a bunch of other stuff as well. So if you want to go ahead and get this from my link below, you'll be taken to my System.io bonus page. If you do decide to sign up to System.io through my link below, you'll also get exclusive access to my bonus suite, which you get to clone my entire affiliate marketing business in just a few clicks. You get my entire funnel, my email sequence, my 15 day commission strategy and training and support from myself. You get this entire page so that you can work your way through and get everything from and you only get that if you get it through my link below so if you haven't got it already go to my link below sign up to system.io and then continue with the tutorial okay so once you've signed up to system.io simply click on funnels here and we're going to want to create a brand new funnel so we're going to give it a name um, I've already made this funnel but we'll just say tropical loophole 2 and what we're going to do here is we want to build an audience because we want to be collecting email addresses. If it was simply just like a sales page um, and that they we want to send them somewhere else to like a checkout or something like that, then we would use this one. We can use custom funnel to do whatever you want with, or we can also run an evergreen webinar, but we want to be building an audience. So give it a name, build an audience, and we can click create. And right here, we can see kind of our funnel structure. So originally they land on this one, and then they'll go to this one, and then we can create more steps as and when we want to. So for this, they call it squeeze page, because that is a name for a page where you collect people's email addresses in return for something. And there's tons of different templates already available. Now, this is a quite a simple landing page. So I'm gonna pick this one here, which I quite like because everything's already in the center and it's quite a simple page to get started with. We won't worry about everything else right now. Um, this isn't the system IO tutorial. It's we're going to be just be building a page and website, but it's got different things that are like automations, AB tests, stats, sales, etc. It's really good. So let's click select. And we can see here we want to give it a name. So I'm just going to say a uh, loop. Oh, I'm going to say tropical loophole landing page or you can call it wherever you want. Now this URL path here. So I've got my own custom domain hooked up. Um, I will talk about this later on in the tutorial because obviously you want to be using your own business brand and domains. Um, with System.io free plan, I think you get one for free before you have to upgrade. So just bear in mind that limitation on the free plan because obviously you can't get everything for free. And um, we'll, we'll set this up later on in the video. But for now, I want to click on here and this will edit the page. So we can see here a really, really easy to use drag and drop editor ready for you to go and start building this funnel. So it's the kind of standard grid structure. We've got sections, which you can see highlighted in green. And then inside this section, we've got rows. And then we've got different elements, things like text, buttons, etc. If we want to add something to any of this, we simply drag and drop the feature we want from the elements here. So if I want to put some text in below this button. I can just put here and it goes like that and click here to delete it. We've also got blocks which are pre-styled and colored and things like that, elements. And we can see here we've got opt-in forms. So it's basically templates for different elements. We can see your team presentations, etc. So you're well looked after with this funnel builder. It's really, really fast and responsive and the pages load really, really quickly. One of the complaints I had with ClickFunnels is that especially when people were entering their email addresses because it had to talk to a third party tool. There was a bit of a delay and I was actually losing leads. This is lightning, lightning fast. Um, I'm going to delete this pop up here because we're not on that for this one. And if you click on settings here, here are the general settings for the funnel page itself. So if you want anything to be consistent across the funnel, things like color of links, general font type, you can do that there. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of most of this funnel. So let me get rid of that because I put that there. And we want to be deleting sections. So I'm going to delete this section and delete this section and delete this section. And I'm just going to basically delete everything except for this top section because we don't really need these things. Although you may want to put a footer in. So right now, the only section we've got is this. All right. So what we want to do is we want to put now, if we go back and look at what we were going to make, this kind of looks like a video, right? Because it's got click here to play sound. But this is actually an image because I wanted to give the impression that this is locked and then that when they enter in their email address, this video starts playing. It's kind of true. They just get taken to the next page where there is actually a video that looks almost the same as this. All right. So this is what we're going to be building. So first of all, I want to set this background color and image first. 
and then we'll start to put these different elements in. So this is a text or a text header. This is an image, text, text, email form and button. All right, so let's go back and let's click on section. So section highlights this whole section. And if we look on the properties here on the left, and this is really, really easy to use guys, you can set the different margins here, background colors, you've got tons of different options. Yeah, have a play around with it. And if you wanna change the mobile view, we can do that here. So let's go ahead and click on background color. Now I want to go and grab the background color that I already used here. So I've got a tool that I use to do this with. It's called Colorzilla. And if I click color picker, oops, oops, sorry, pick color from page, and I hover over it, I can see I can copy this color to my clipboard. So this is kind of how I copy colors. There's tons of tools that do it, but this is what I use. All right, so when I've copied the color in here on System.io, I'm gonna paste it in, and there we are, we've got the background color I want. So that should look the same as, sorry, I've got way too many pages open here, as here. All right, now I wanna get these leaves here. So these are an image that I downloaded from the Exapira website itself. I just right clicked and downloaded it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload that as a background image to go on top of this. So I'm gonna click here. And I believe it was this leaves one here. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna click insert and that's gone there. So that's not quite right in position. So if I click on background position, I'm gonna choose center. Oops, that's not it. Um, I'm gonna choose full center fixed. Okay, fill 100% width. There we go, that's it. So that looks pretty much like this and it's gonna look bigger once I you know, get rid of this here. So that looks pretty good to me. So we wanna put a headline and then we want to put an image and then some more text. So I'm going to go ahead and well, tell you what, since we've got this already here, this is a headline, we'll just use this. So I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need it and get rid of the row it was in. So this has moved up now to the top. All right. So as soon as we've already got this, I'm just going to use this kind of as it is. And we wanted to say, I'm going to copy and paste this, but you might not want to copy and paste. You might just want to put it in as it is and delete what we've got. So to change the color of this, because I don't think black on this background looks very good. So I'm gonna highlight this part first. So I only want to change this part. And then I'm gonna click on here, which is the color palette. And then I'm gonna click on white. And you can see it's, because I highlighted this first, it's only changed this text. And now I want this to be a different color. So I think it was this one here. It's pretty close, right? Even if it's not, I can just use colors and that's pretty close, right? For the sake of this tutorial. And this looks really good. And I, I came up with this copy. So if you wanna know how I came up with this copy, let's go back to the Exapira page. Yeah, so this is the, the sales page. So they got an exit pop-up. So when you go to leave, this comes up. So I, I thought this was a really, really good copy here. Bizarre tropical loophole dissolves one pound of fire every four, eight hours. So basically I used this on my page. And I think that's very good. And I use this for the underneath. So let's go back. Yeah, so, you know, I added this bit in myself, but I think this looks really good. And I think to have a headline that's kind of two-toned color like this kind of grabs your attention. We definitely need to change this color because I can barely see it on this background. So let's get an image in here. Uh, let's put it underneath here. And your images. So I've made this already today. So I'm going to insert this here and this looks like a video. So basically all I did, let's go back to the sales page. So I'm here now. So all I did is I simply just took a screenshot of this page and I cropped this as an image and then I put this on my page and it was as easy as that. So if you're on a Mac, um, you'll have a keyboard shortcut to do it. If you're on Windows, just go to start and then use the snipping tool and just snip this out and then it looks as if it's a video that's about to play. And then simply just upload it to System.io and you've got this here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I think this is text is too close to this image. So if we click on the text, 
and then go to the properties and let's scroll down so i'm going to put some margin in at the top let's go with 20. let's go with 20. um maybe i should put some more of the bottom i think that looks okay for now what i want to do first though is increase this font size because that is way too small and let's change the color oops that's see-through let's change it to white okay that's much better already isn't it um i still think that it's a little bit too close so i'm going to put some margin at the bottom maybe just 10 between it and the button um and what i'll do is i'll go on the image and i'll put some margin on, on the bottom of that as well let's put 20. yeah i think that looks much better i mean you know look i made this myself so you don't have to follow this exactly but i think that is much better so what i'm going to do is again i got this this copy from the other page um, i'm just going to simply paste it in here and then delete i don't know why it's gone all black i think it's gone all black because in the settings here remember the global settings of the page the text color is black yeah well that's much better so what i'm going to do to get this text here i think it's just easier if i duplicate this here like that and then copy this into there Okay, now I think I use a different font. I can't remember what font this was. I think this looks pretty good, but we're gonna want to two-tone this as well. So there we go. Okay, cool. So this looks, this is pretty much ready to go now. So the things, um, definitely save it as you go along and you can always preview it by looking here or go back to the dashboard here. Now we need to put a email form in for people to enter in their email forms and we need to set this button up so that it actually submits the form into our email list all right so if we go scroll down and go to form input i'm going to drag this and put it above the button here okay now it says here warning input type not set so whenever you have forms online they have certain input types and that tells the system or the computer or your app what type of information your user is typing in. So if we click on here and then we can select input type here, we want to select email because you, you know, you might want to be asking for names, first names, phone numbers, etc. but only email is really important this one. Okay. And this is going to tell system that someone's entering an email name and it'll have certain conventions. Like they need to have an at symbol in there, etc. for it to know. And then we click on this button here. So we first of all, let's change this text in this button because we're not booking a call, are we? We're just going to say, um, if we go here, button text. We're going to say, unlock, unlocky, unlock now because they are wanting, or your audience has landed you, and they're going to want to unlock this video because they want to find out what this secret is. How am I going to dissolve one pound of fat in every, every 48 hours, right? How has this woman done it? They're going to want to find out. So we're going to unlock now. So here's the bit where we connect this up. So the setting we want to be choosing here, because this is a funnel, we are going to want to send form because by sending this form, using this button to send this form, we know that this email is being sent into our email list inside system IO. We can just go straight to another URL or to the next funnel step. However, this won't activate the email. This would simply just be like clicking on a link, not a button that pushes this email address. So we wanted to send form. So we'll click that here. Now, do you want to redirect users after contact registration? Absolutely we do. So we can either go to the next step in the funnel, but the next step in the funnel is our affiliate link. So it's outside of system IO. So we don't need to click that. We want to put to a custom URL and this custom URL is our affiliate link. So that's the affiliate page. So I'm going to go ahead and save and let's test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and look at this and I'm going to enter in my, one of my work emails. So before I click unlock now, there's two things that I want this funnel to happen or you want to happen also. First of all, I want this button to push this email into my email list or into your email list. And second of all, I then, then want to redirect this page to my affiliate link, which is the sales page for this offer. So let's click. And as we can see, it has successfully done that. And 
this is my affiliate link and this is the unlocked video now let's go back to system io i'll just save it once more click on go back and if we go to my contacts we should see we should see my email address at the top here subscribe to via the squeeze page we just made it so before we do that i just want to check what it looks like on mobile first now system io is really really good at optimizing things for mobile but as always there may be some things that look on a big screen but don't quite work out on mobile so if we click on mobile view here um as we can see i think this looks fine and we've got the video and we've got this 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 so it all looks pretty good what i will say is i want some padding or i want some margin between this image and the text it's too close together so as we did with the main view because when you make changes here on mobile it only makes changes to it on mobile and that's really cool so let's give it um 10 and at the bottom for sure let's give it 10. okay i think that looks better you might want to space this out a little bit more maybe extend this button the full width oops there we go there we are and that i think looks better so we click save and as we can see when we go back to this page the changes have only been made to the mobile view so that's really really cool right that's really awesome and that is quite literally how easy it is to get something working and functional like this for affiliate marketing up and running so let's exit for a second and connect all this up. And you can see what I mean here by the different steps in the funnel. So some people might want to send them to a, what's called a thank you page, a page like this. You know, thank you, collect your downloads now. Thank you for signing up and have a video, etc. But for this, because we're sending them to an affiliate offer from our landing page, we're going to get rid of this funnel step. All right. So let's set up our emails first, our email automation, and then we'll go and take a look at what we need to use for this custom domain. So first of all, with emails, we want to be tagging people with a certain type of tag. So that way we can identify where these emails have come from. You might be promoting different affiliate offers in different niches. So you don't want to mix them all up into a general lot. So system is really, really good. It allows you to use tags. And that way you can do something like if you had a new tag and we can say here, um, What's the product name? Um, we'll just say Tropical Lupo. Okay, I think it was Exapir, but we'll save that. Basically, we'll know is that anyone who subscribes through this page will be tagged with something called Tropical Lupo. So you'll know exactly where they've come from, and that way you're not emailing irrelevant stuff to people who are not interested. Okay, because that's a great way to trash your email IP. So we've got this tag here now, Tropical Lupo. So here's how we add this to our landing page or two hour squeeze page so if we go to rules here so we've got two ways of doing this we have rules and workflows okay but what I, what I want to do is I want to add a rule here and basically how this works is this a trigger happens this is an event and when once this trigger has happened once this event has happened do this an action okay if you've ever done like processes or business process flow in school or anything like that you'll be very familiar with this so I want to click on here and I want to say when funnel step form subscribed and you want to pick your funnel tropical loophole so when some subscribes to this funnel we want to add our tropical loophole tag so we'll say add tag tropical loophole okay i'm going to save it so anytime someone signs up here now not only will we collect their email address but they'll also automatically be tagged with the tag whatever you want tropical loophole okay that way you know exactly where your contacts are coming from and you know what they're interested in and you can have multiple tags remove tags etc now here's where things get really interesting and amazingly with system io on the free plan you are allowed to send emails to i think up to 2000 subscribers on the free plan so what we're going to do is we're going to create an email automation sequence here that people will automatically go into when they sign up to your form. So two things is gonna happen. They're gonna sign up to your form, they're gonna get tagged with Tropical Loophole, and then they're gonna go into the Tropical Loophole email sequence, which will email them for a certain amount of days every day after they sign up. This is the power of email marketing. You set it up once and you don't have to do it again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab from the affiliates page from ClickBank from earlier, where I got all the information from, some of their email swipes. This is how easy it is, okay? You've got email one, email two, email three, four, five, etc. These are done for you. They've got the subject line and they've got the emails here and you replace these links with your affiliate links, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the subject line first um, and then we're gonna click on Tropical Loophole. So we're gonna, this is a campaign. So this is an automated 
email sequence or email autoresponder. So we're going to add different emails into this campaign. So just click on add an email. Um, and again, you know, this email address I put in custom myself when I added my domain. We'll talk about that later. Um, and in here, I'm going to put the title. All right, so this is the subject line for what they're going to get. I'm going to use the classic editor. Oh, we're actually going to use the visual editor with this template. I'm going to click create. So this is the body of your email. So I, I'm going to, like we did with the funnels, I'm going to get rid of most of this because we don't need it. I'm going to get rid of this image. Don't want it. Get rid of this. Da, 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 da. I mean, you can put your image there. It's up to you. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Um, okay, so I'm going to change the font. So best to do that from the global settings. Um, I like 16, anything between 16 and 20 is fine. Uh, put this under 600. Cool, so this looks good to me. So I don't like this font, so let's just go ahead and delete it all. So I'm going to control A, delete it all. And I'm just going to put in to Arial. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy and paste the email. So we've already copied and pasted the title and let's copy and paste this email into the editor here. Okay, and this is the email that's going to go out. Now, if we take a look back on the swipe, this year, so this, this, and this year were links. So you want to copy your affiliate link from ClickBank or from Amazon or wherever you're using it and then highlight these as links. So hover over this, click link here, paste, save. I don't know why that's not looking like blue. So we've got the settings here. I want link color to be blue. There we go. Um, and I'll probably bold it as well. That looks much better. I think this is a link also. So again, click on the link here, paste your affiliate link, save, um, and then Bold, bold that, one more link here like this, okay? So that, this is your first email that's gonna go out. So I'm gonna save and I'm gonna exit, all right? Um, and what I'm gonna do here is, we want this to be the first email in our email chain. So if we click save and publish here, system is going to ask you how the delay before sending this email so i'm probably going to want this email to go one hour after they subscribed to the page so i'm going to click publish so anytime so this is the process okay somebody comes on this page they enter in their email address what system io does and bear in mind this is all free which is incredible their email address gets added to system io they get tagged with tropical loophole tag and then they get put into this email sequence. Now, right now we only have one email in here and this is gonna be sent exactly one hour after they've put their email in here, all right? Now, all we do then is to add more emails to the chain is simply to add more emails. I'm just gonna copy this one just for blah, blah, blah. And when we save and publish this one, we don't say one hour, we wanna, put, we wanna do one day and we want to put after, and you can see here, this is the title of the previous email, okay? So you want to be sending out one email a day into a sequence, however many emails you want. And we can see here, so this goes one hour after, this goes one day after. Now, when you do subsequent emails, just make sure it's always one day after the previous email. So this will be the title for the next one. There'll be a new title, new title, new title, new title, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. And then this is an automated email campaign. And amazingly, you can do this all free through System.io. So you haven't got it yet, get it through my link below. There's one final thing we need to do to make sure that all our opt-ins will be automatically sent into the sequence as well as tagging them. If you go to automations and then workflows and click create, um, and we'll just say tropical loophole, and this is basically going to make sure, because we've already created the sequence, we just need to make sure that the people actually make it into the sequence. So let's click create your first trigger here. And this is kind of like, you know, like a, a flow chart. You must have seen one of these before. Click on the first trigger. And basically, we're going to say when final form subscribed, I'm going to click our tropical loophole here. We want them then to action 
um, subscribe to a campaign and our campaign is tropical loophole. So this is the email campaign. So if we click create and then we click exit and then we just activate it and then it's up and running. So we already created the actual email campaign earlier, but this makes sure that the automation is there so that anyone who signs up through our page gets put into the email sequence. And that is the last step. And that is, you know, affiliate marketing, email marketing 101, collect leads, email them with the affiliate offer so they don't buy straight away from the sales page. You're gonna get them on the email sequence. So, you know, think of how quickly and easily I did this tutorial and how quickly and easily you can replicate this. You can have an affiliate marketing website up and running that brings you in leads and you can tag and use an email list. Now, one thing here I wanna to talk to you about is custom domains because you're gonna need a custom domain. Well, I recommend you use a custom domain for branding purposes and obviously for email, you can't use a Gmail or anything like that. So if you go into, I think it's account settings here. Nope, it's not account settings here. Because right now on the free plan, your subdomain it's going to be blah, 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 whatever your account name is, dot system IO. And that'll be for all your funnels as well. You know, you want to be using your own domain. So if we go to, I'm probably staring at it right in the face, custom domains. And I've got mine, stevevip.club here. So what you want to do is you want to add a domain. So if you haven't already, go and get a domain for someone like Namecheap. You can use the Namecheap link in my description below this video for a discount and get a custom domain. And then you can click here on read this article to set up a custom domain, okay? Um, I'll probably do another tutorial on how to get this set up. Also probably get your email um, functionality as well from Namecheap or GoDaddy or whatever you use, yeah? And make sure you add the custom domain here. And then also make sure in mail-in settings you add your mail here as well, all right? And you wanna be doing that because that way your emails will be sent from your business email address and your funnels will have the branded email on them because you don't wanna be sending them, you know, at Gmail emails, it doesn't look very professional and they will go to spam box, okay? The delivery rate on System.io is really, really high right now so you wanna make sure that you're, you know, you're keeping your IP warm and you're not doing any weird stuff with it. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And I mean, you just wanna, you know, if you wanna, Go ahead and just use a simple sales page. Go and have a take a look at the other templates you can use. You can go ahead and do that. You might even want to add extra steps to your funnel. So for this, we sent them direct to an affiliate offer after our page. But we can create another funnel step here. And we can just say um, something like, thank you page. Or you can send them to a checkout, right? So look at the different options here. Squeeze pages, collect emails, pop-ups, order forms, upsells. So again, upsells, downsells, webinar registrations, etc. You can use any of them. Um, and then just you know send them to the next step in your funnel rather than the custom URL. So that's pretty much it. You can see how easy it is to use this. Go sign up, go have a play around with it. There is a free tier, but it's only $27 a month for the lowest tier and to get something that builds funnels, websites, emails. I mean, you know, look at all the stuff you can do in here, okay? You can sell anything you want, automations, blogs, whatever you want, it's a bargain. So I really hope you um, enjoyed this tutorial. And again, if you have any questions, about this tutorial or about affiliate marketing in general, let me know in the comments. That was it. Not too hard now, was it? I hope you followed along, okay? And if there's anything you wanna know, please feel free to reach out and ask. Now this was you know, a how to build an affiliate marketing website for free, but I also included how to get those people, get your leads into an email sequence for free as well, using this awesome tool, System.io, which you can get through my link below, okay? Really, really awesome tool. And if you do decide to get through my link below, you will also get access to my clone my business exclusive bonus in which you'll be able to clone my exact affiliate marketing funnel and email sequence and 15 day challenge training for you to get up and running as well all right so once again my name is steve if you've enjoyed this video or any of my other content please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons below any support is greatly appreciated because i am competing with some big channels out there and no doubt there are a lot of beginners to both affiliate marketing and system io who would really appreciate to see a video like this where it shows you step by step as a beginner how to set these things up. I'm gonna be having a ton more affiliate marketing and system IO related content moving forward. If you wanna know things like full tutorials, how to set up custom domains and email domains and things like that, watch the next videos in the next coming weeks because I'm gonna have plenty of those. I'm also gonna be comparing system IO as well to things like ClickFunnels and showing you the pros and cons of both, all right? So once again, my name is Steve. Have a great day. Stay safe from COVID. Have a great 2022.